The winter meetings felt a little too quiet today, but it is 1121 Central Time, 921 San Diego, and the Padres are going to be making a huge, massive move as shortstop Xander Bogarts has just signed with the Padres for an 11-year deal for $280 million. Just a completely shocking deal. There's so much to break down, but first of all, Red Sox, they signed Yoshida today to a five-year deal. They're going to be losing their longtime shortstop in Xander Bogarts, but as far as the Padres, it seemed inevitable they would get someone because they were offering Trey Turner 41 million more than what the Phillies were going to offer and they offered Aaron Judge 40 million more than what the Yankees were going to offer so they were the highest bidder for Aaron Judge and Trey Turner but now they will be getting Xander Bogarts and as far as the contract this is crazy because not only is this going to take him through his age 41 season but it's 280 million it's been a player's market for sure and this just emphasizes that a lot of people when projecting contracts for Xander Bogarts Bogarts. It started off in maybe close to the Marcus Simeon range, a seven-year deal for maybe 175-ish million, and then maybe people were reporting that it could be 180 to 2 million, 200 million. But 280 million it is not even close to that mark. It's close to 300 million. Just an absolutely massive deal. Once again, 11 years, 280 million, just about 25, a little more than that AAV. So what a deal for the Padres. They're going to be getting Xander Bogarts, and I think this is a good fit because Xander Bogarts all he does is hit he's in the competition for the batting title every year he'll have some pop too but he's just a RBI machine he's a base hit machine he just does everything right he could play shortstop for the next coming years but as far as 11 years going into his age 41 season he has a lot of flexibility he can play third base he can play second base you can move him there and for the Padres they have a ton of depth Fernando Tatis Jr when he's back obviously he could play shortstop but you could also move him into the outfield, center field, or something like that, even the corner outfield position. And then Ha Young Kim can transition to second base. Jay Cronenworth can transition to first base. They have a lot of flexibility. And overall, AJ Preller and the Padres are just getting one of the better players in all of baseball, better pure hitters in all of baseball as well. I think this is a huge signing. As far as dominoes for shortstops, Dansby Swanson and Carlos Correa remain. So we'll see what the demand does for teams like the Twins, the Giants, the Cubs. But let me know what you guys think. Xander Bogarts to the Padres, absolutely shocking deal, 11 years, 280 million.